During the 2003 occupation of Iraq, Saudi Arabia secretly helped the United States, allowing operations from at least three air bases, permitting special forces to stage attacks from Saudi soil and providing access to cheap fuel. Publicly, American and Saudi officials have portrayed the US military presence during the war as minimal and limited to Prince Sultan Air Base. In truth, the Air Command Center was in Saudi Arabia. Corrupt regimes plague the Muslim world and like most other Muslim rulers the Saudis have never had the interests of the people at heart. When not servicing the needs of their masters their next most important concern has been to rob Arabia of its revenues. The Al Saud clan has lived in extreme luxury. Fahd alone boasted at least 12 royal palaces ranging from the $2.5 billion Al Yamima Palace complex in Riyadh to a cottage four times the size of the White House in Marbella, Spain. He owned several jets and yachts, including one priced $60 million, all with gold bathrooms and a fleet of Rolls Royces, Cadillacs and Mercedes. In the meantime, the income of the average Saudi citizen fell from $14,600 per annum in 1982 to $6,800. And unemployment among those who have already left school hovers around 25%. The gap between the tiny ruling minority and the people is stark. While one Saudi princess flies her hairdresser from Europe first class, and pays him $5,000 a cut, in Hafer al batin 50 kilometers from the Kuwaiti border, 60,000 people are living in shacks with no electricity, sewerage and only minimal food. Saudi Arabia, one of the richest countries in the world resource-wise, now has foreign debts of 28 billion dollars and domestic debt has increased to 170 billion dollars. Over the last 30 years, 3 trillion dollars have been generated mostly by oil. Yet only 1 trillion dollars have been reinvested into the country. The other 2 trillion dollars remain unaccounted for. 4,000 or so South family princes get a base allowance of approximately $1.5 million per year. They supplement this with vast sums made through the following sophisticated forms of theft. Sale of oil. King Fahad, since 1975, has set up a system by which he and close members of his family sold on the open market in Rotterdam anywhere from 300,000 to 1 million barrels of oil a day at below market prices income from that oil was deposited in Swiss bank accounts. It is estimated that Fahad's annual income varied between three to five billion dollars a year selling oil outside the commercial channels and oil company concessions. Real estate. Land in 